back with my latest how to make an rpg this is going to probably be a long series several videos um but this is going to be the first part the first part will be custom classes so let's get started so i got some free silhouettes uh to work with here i'm gonna make two classes today i'm gonna make a barbarian class and i'm gonna make a wizard class so i got some uh, silhouettes one small uh the size of a icon of a button or a input and then i got one for the gui both of them are guis all four of them are so let's get started we'll start with the variables so we're gonna add a persistent player variable which will be persistent when he when the player logs out and logs back in so we name the first one barbarian underscore zero change the logic to number change the scope to player persistent click ok now we're going to make the wizard wizard underscore zero i put the zero uh on the back of them it's an old habit old coding habit so uh, uh number uh player persistent all right so we got our first two variables uh, for our classes. Um, now let's make a GUI. Let's make a new GUI. Class GUI. All right, so let's stress this out. We should, actually we could make this no 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 let's let's yeah we got silhouettes so this is gray background i'll use the gray background and i want to make four classes but in this video i'm making two all right let's add a picture um barbarian first here nope okay we gotta scale that down whoa we gotta scale that down so let's get rid of that Um, click this little box, scale it down. Whoa, 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 what, what's going on here? It needs to not shrink down, huh? Try this one. Okay, this one will shrink down. There we go. Okay. Let's add the wizard too. Looks like I can only fit. Well, I could fit two more. I could fit two more here. These are a little bigger than I wanted, but put them in the corner. Yeah. Okay. Okay, buttons, add a button. Barbarian. Barbarian button, there we go. Wizard. Now all this I'll be changing later, but I'm just making it. Yeah, I think I could add four like this. Yeah, so. The wizard's taking up a lot of space. Oh yeah, he's my spell, geez, okay. There we go. Uh, 
All right. Copy. Okay, so now we got our two classes here. Now let's make uh, our procedures. It's a lot easier way. Just click on the snap thing. Snap it in place. Snap. Done. Yep. All right, save that. Um, let's make a temporary block. Uh, class block. And let's just create a texture. Temporary texture right now. Just let's make it, uh, doesn't matter. Mm, not that bright. All right, then save this as a block, purple class, there we go. we go oh this is fine this is temporary this is a temporary block okay um there's multiple ways to choose the class you can choose it when you start the game which i will get into a, in a later video but i'm just doing the fundamentals on how to make the beginning of the class system uh later date will be the le leveling system within the class system and the perks rewards traders i got traders npc traders all this in this rpg package series that i'm making right now um so we got the gui we got the temporary block to uh, choose the class let's make the procedure no uh, let's get a folder here class All right. Um, procedure. Let's go to uh, a new procedure. This will be um, bar button. All right. So go down to uh, flow, flow control. Uh, if do block custom variables um, custom variables you want the get global then you get out of math and you get the number and we're gonna go to flow control or logic get the uh, light blue uh, here Is that the one I want nope uh, you want the uh, other one? This one. There we go. All right. Um, we want this to set, not get. So this has got to be set. So let's go to procedure templates. Go to um, check if current entity is player. Click that. Get rid of this. We're doing this a different way here. Set barbarian to one. I think that's it. Yep, that's it. Yep, it's all set to one and then uh yeah i'll show you uh so what what this will do is once he once the person presses the button it will make them a barbarian and so every time they die they'll still be a barbarian and they'll have starter equipment 
So I'm going to make an axe for the uh, barbarian. It'll be like a starter axe and just starter food or whatever for that class. And also, therefore, they will have to go to an NPC, like a barbarian NPC trainer to train up the barbarian. Uh, and I'll show you that uh, either in this video or maybe a later video. But this is just the fundamentals to get started because this is going to be a long series on how to make an RPG mod. Um, so click save. All right, duplicate this. Wizard button, open it. Change the set global to the wizard. Keep everything the same. Uh, the death procedure. Barb, death. Uh, go here to on player death. On player respawn. Yeah, player respawns. Um, I can't remember, is it? Type item. <clears throat> Um, is it give? Who's give? No, bomb. Oh boy, player procedures, item procedures. Yeah. Right here. Go to player procedures. Click add uh, to entity inventory. Now let's copy paste that. Right. So when the barbarian dies, this is what he'll get. And later on, I'm going to make custom axes and custom items. But for now, testing wise, I'm just doing this. So, um, Save that, copy paste that one, duplicate, uh, whiz, death, like when the wizard dies, he gets a wand or something, right? Today he gets a stick. All right. Okay, so every time player after oh, whoa, 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 almost messed up the hair. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, here we go. So custom variables. If, if, uh, flow, flow control, if, if do block. Math, number, logic. dark blue one and one so if someone clicked the barbarian and this global variable persistent player variable is on one when they die they will get this stuff save that go to wizard let's do the th same thing custom variables if do math logic plug that in there plug that in there change this to wizard change that to a one because they've already clicked it so they're on one they move from zero to one follow me here 
So when they advance in more levels, they'll have two, three, four, and I'll show you that probably in a later video. Let's just get the fundamentals here. I don't want to make this too long, but this is going to be a multi multiple part series. Um, okay. All right, so grabbing the purple block, purple test block, class block, right click. All right, click, pick a class, closes the GUI. Now I can't choose another GUI. Uh, and I'm going to show you uh, what I did. I made some changes. So let me show you what I did. All right, so I made some changes. Uh, the barbarian button. You want to type close, click on the barbarian button, open it up, click, type close in the search. And you want close GUI. So after they click it, it will close the button. All right, do that for the wizard button and the barbarian button. Click save. Now on the class block, go to triggers. I'm gonna show you how to make this. Uh, go to, a, it's a right click event. So on, on block, right click. Um, I'm gonna remake this here. So what this does is it's going to ch check to see if they can open up the GUI, the class GUI, if they haven't picked one yet. But once they pick one, they can't open it up again. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So flow control, if do, flow control, if do. You need two of them. Stack them. Custom variables. Git, global, logic, dark blue, logic, light blue. Change the equal sign to and, or oh, I'm sorry, or. It has to be or. Change it to or. Let's go to math. Let's get a number. Now on the dark blue, copy paste. Change this to wizard. Plug that in the top. Copy paste the whole thing. Change it to, changing the zeros to ones. Now type in open and search. Open screen. Make that class GUI. And type in close and search. And plug that in the bottom there. So what this does is it checks to see if they've picked the class yet. And if they have, it won't open up the class GUI. It will close it. So they can't pick double classes. Uh, click save. Right, now you have a foundation for an RPG mod. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to do NPC traders, uh, or elaborate more on the class system and the level system and perks and rewards. My name is Chu. Thanks for watching.